today I thought I would make a video for you guys about um, my photo pass photography experience. Um, I asked you guys on my Facebook page uh, what you guys were interested in knowing about and I got a couple of you that really wanted to know about my photo pass experience and just everything that entails that and so I figured today is the perfect day to talk about this. So I'll start from the beginning. Uh, so for photo pass, I get asked often in my like, Facebook inbox and in comments on YouTube uh, if having photography experience is necessary for photo pass. The answer to that is yes. Um, you have to have knowledge of a DSLR camera before doing photo pass as your as your role. So with that, uh, people were kind of curious, like wh how much experience. Um, if you have a basic concept of DSLR cameras, whether they're Canon or Nikon or whatever they are, um, that is a plus. Um, if you have no knowledge of DSLR cameras or lenses or you know basic composition, I would um, suggest you not sign up for PhotoPass as a role for you, just because. Uh, Disney expects you to already have some knowledge of the of a camera and the photography and all that before you come into the role. So there is an expectation there. And there's um, if you're not familiar with the photography world and cameras, uh, it can be really confusing if you, you if you if you get the role and you maybe fib about what you what you know. So. Just because you know like point and shoot cameras or you know your phone and you're really good at editing and your apps, um, it's really different than professional photography. And um, So that's the first thing is have a background in it before you even consider it. Secondly, uh, so my personal experience with PhotoPass was um, kind of amazing for most people that enjoy their program. They have a little bit of bias toward the role, they, toward the role that they were in. And I personally think PhotoPass is the best role ever, but of course, like I said, I'm biased because it's what I did and I loved it. So it's kind of just hit or miss. Some people don't enjoy their programs and, you know, may not enjoy PhotoPass as much as I did. Someone's texting me. So anyways, um, like I was saying, so for PhotoPass for me, I really enjoyed it. Um, I was at uh, Magic Kingdom. And I mostly worked on Main Street, but I still uh, would get assignments around the park as well. But Main Street was kind of my kind of my home and where I always was. Uh, so basically, with PhotoPass, you can work any of the parks, downtown Disney, um, but you'll have a main your main home. But you can be, you know, what's the word? Not transferred, but you can go on deployment sometimes if, uh, if uh, another area needs help. But uh, for me, my home was Magic Kingdom on Main Street USA. <sighs> Let's see, so for PhotoPass, I know things have definitely changed since I've been there because when I visited Disney World, like not only has like some of the equipment changed and the rules, but even the, the uh, costumes have changed. They still wear like the vests that say PhotoPass, but like the whole brand has uh, gotten much, much bigger, which makes me so happy because I love PhotoPass and I love seeing it excel. But basically with PhotoPass, you're going to get trained on um, how Disney likes their photos taken. Uh, you will be given like your camera settings and what they should be on in certain locations because for those of you that know DSLRs, you know your shutter and apertures um, have to be different at different times of the day and in different locations and you gotta know your ISOs and you gotta know you gotta know all of that stuff. So um, having prior knowledge going in will make earning your ears a lot easier. On my next point is earning your ears. Um, PhotoPass is one of the longest training programs uh, to earn your ears for the college program. I believe mine in total took five weeks, um, just because it is such a. Uh, I mean, it's it's a role where you're on your own and you don't have a manager always standing right there helping you out, and you're you're by yourself. I'm popular today. <laughs> Um, so you, you're by yourself and you're you're kind of you're running your own show while you're out there. Granted, there is help and there's always someone nearby that can help you. But um, for PhotoPass, you are a one-man show, and uh, especially when you're shooting characters, which is not something you get trained on right away. The first thing you get trained on is called icons, and uh, you learn how to shoot people 
at the icons. So for me, I learned first thing was to shoot people at different spots uh, on the castle. And I learned to shoot it free-handedly, and I learned to shoot it on a tripod. And uh, believe it or not, it's really difficult because the castle is actually not straight. If you ever look at it, it's actually um, a little bit slanted. So every photo you take has to be a little bit slanted the other way, so the castle is straight. So uh, that's the first thing you learn in PhotoPass is how to shoot icons. And um, that was a fun thing to do, but uh, you get a little bored with it later. And then the next thing you get to learn is how to shoot with characters. Shooting with characters was my absolute favorite. Every time I got assigned a character, whether it was Mickey, or Buzz Lightyear, or um, who else? Uh, Alice in Wonderland was always a really fun one to shoot. Um, you know, it's really fun because each experience is different, uh, but there are photos you're required to get because um, even if the family doesn't want the photo pass option, um, you scan their cards anyways and you say, like, I got some, I captured some really great memories for you. So, let's see, I'm trying to think what else to cover. Uh, for PhotoPass, um, you're going to need white sneakers. Um, the sneakers need to have no logo brands on them. If they do, the logo needs to be white so it's um, not really visible. Um, for your costume, the same costume goes for all parks, except if you work on Main Street, you have to wear the Main Street costume because you're in a different time era. You have to play your role. And uh, you wear the white knickers and you have a bow tie and you look very cute, very uh, old timey. Um, but let's see, uh, there's a lot of equipment that goes into PhotoPass. You've got your DSLR camera, your external flash, you have a pouch full of uh, blank PhotoPass cards to give to guests, um, you have extra batteries, um, you have a PDA hooked to your pants, and your PDA is what uh, scans. The photos either on the PhotoPass card or on people's magic uh, magic bands. So yeah, there's a lot on your body. There's a it's a heavy a heavy uh, roll because uh, you have to be kind of strong. Another awesome perk of PhotoPass is uh, during parades. Uh, for example, move it, shake it, celebrate it, as we like to call it, my side Kai. Um, you get to just shoot people dancing on the street with characters. But uh, there are rules to that. Uh, for example, uh, Pixar characters and Mary Poppins are completely off limits to PhotoPass because of the copyright problems. So um, Mr. Incredible and Frozone are in that show and um, you cannot shoot them. They cannot be in your shot. If they are, the, the images will disappear. So uh, guests, guests can be upset um, if that happens. So if that if they are wanting a picture with one of those characters, um, you just have to ask them if we could take it with their own personal camera because uh, we can't do that. So let's see, what else? What other questions might you guys have about PhotoPass? Um, you do get a water bottle that you can uh, hook on your belt loop uh, because you are outside for um, extended hours and the way PhotoPass works is you go in a rotational bump and uh, you'll be at certain locations for a couple hours at a time and then you'll receive a bump from another cast member who will take your place. Uh, you'll either go take your break or go um, go switch with someone else and uh, it'll be a bump. So, And that bump is really important because someone else's break at the end of that bump system depends on it. So when you get your assignments, for instance, say I'm at Popcorn Stand at Main Street and my next assignment is... Um, <sighs> is a flagpole. Uh, I need to get there as soon as possible because the person at the flagpole has somewhere to be and so on and so forth. So uh, that's how we do our rotations. Uh, so you're not standing in the same spot all day, although it has happened where during the rotational bump you'll just get moved about five feet away and so it can get a little repetitive if you're standing in the same spot almost all day long. But it's worth it, especially working out on Main Street. I really enjoyed just because Main Street is probably one of the happiest places when people come into the park, I think, because uh, they see the castle and they're really amped and you can get a lot of really uh, great candid shots, which um, which the photo pass department really encourages because the photos at the end of the night on the uh, projection show on the castle are the photo pass photos that uh, have been taken throughout the day and are, um, you know, broadcasted on the castle. So there's a good chance that after a uh, long day's work, you'll, you'll, you'll see your beautiful photos on the castle, and it's, it's a great feeling. And I mean, every night you get to watch some kind of cool fireworks show, no matter what park you're at, unless it's in Animal Kingdom, then 
you don't get to do that. <laughs> but uh, Magic Kingdom, I got to watch Wishes almost every night. Um, and I didn't mind working nights just because I think Magic Kingdom is the most beautiful at night. <sighs> photo pass, more photo pass questions. What could you possibly be curious about? Um, oh, another thing I wanted to mention about photo pass is that when you're working with characters, you're not only photo pass, you're, you're sort of a character attendant as well. Though every character has a their own attendant, um, photo pass has to step up sometimes and take over that role if the attendant's busy with more than one character, uh, especially if that character um, can't speak. So uh, you are the voice of, of the character sometimes and you have to understand what they're trying to say and to get the guests to, you know, do what the character is wanting. So uh, you kind of, you got to, you got to be the whole package. You got to be a photographer, you got to be great at customer service, you got to be happy all day, all day long, you got to help the characters, help the character attendants, and just uh, also take amazing photos. That's what you're there to do. You're there to capture people's memories and preserve their, their family trip or whoever is there. Or One of my favorite things to shoot, which was always really exciting, was uh, people get engaged at uh, Disney World a lot, and I took a lot of a lot of proposals and hint to anyone that's ever proposing in Disney World. You need to, you should really tell the photographer that you're gonna do it. Um, that way, like if we're on a tripod, we can get off the tripod really, really fast, so um, you can get better images and uh, a more variety of images. So, quick tip for anyone who wants to get engaged at Disney World. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's pretty much it for Photo Pass questions. If you guys uh, like this video, thumbs it up. If you have any other questions that I didn't maybe cover about Photo Pass, please leave it in the comments below. I love to hear your guys' questions. And uh, for now, I think that's it. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a magical day. Bye.